Hey, it's Steve Brown with a very music-oriented entertainment city for you today. First up, Canadian punk pop quartet Headley with their latest Labor of Love. Tell me would you stay if I could love again? Look at this. Fresh, that sounds is. Better. Oh, it sounds better than it looks, too. Cageless, the seventh one, guys. Number seven, man. Number seven, lucky number seven. The energy, the passion, and the excitement, exactly the same from the first one? Absolutely not. It's only gotten more intense. It's only gotten more exciting. I think we've grown into our positions as songwriters and the way we work together. Cages is the perfect representation of where we're at as people now and musically where we're at, artistically, where we, what we want to say. We're growing, our fans are growing, so we just want to keep doing this, and this is why we just keep doing it. So we don't do this because we have to, we, we do, do it because we, we can't not. Cageless is out now, and the guys are kicking off a North American tour in February. What happened in the last five years? Paranoia, fear, body pain, anxiety. She does extraordinary things and has a really exceptional life, and at the same time, she can be lonely, she can have heartbreak, things that anybody can experience and they're just as real for her and just as painful it's not that money and fame can you know fix her pain and pain is a lot of what we see in gaga five foot two the new documentary about lady gaga that gives a very human insight into an often eccentric pop star the film doesn't shy away from difficult moments like the singer's battle with fibromyalgia which causes chronic pain and has actually recently caused her to cancel a bunch of upcoming concerts terry hart caught up with the filmmaker who brings us this candid look at mother monster i would think it's kind of a herculean task to get into somebody's life like hers fair yeah, I mean, it, it, it's also that her life is so big. I kind of follow her through the finishing of the record, Joanne, as she finds out that she gets the Super Bowl, and we end, you know, with the Super Bowl, and there's the release of the album. And as she kind of grows back into Lady Gaga, and her life kind of explodes again, you know, some of the last shots, she's just like this little dot in the distance, and you really feel like she belongs to the world at the end. I didn't feel good enough, and I do now. That's the good part. All right, and coming up tomorrow, we're talking to Seth McFarlane about his new space spoof, The Orville. For Entertainment City, I'm Devo Brown.